If you need Pokemon TCG codes, make sure you stop by Town store. They have automatic email delivery of all the code cards and they have a really nice variety of stock of all the latest Sun and Moon sets along with all the promo cards. And make sure you use Tablemon code when you're checking out to get an extra 5% off. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. All over a hundred of you, which is a number we hadn't hit in quite a while. Um, thank you so much for being here. If you're watching YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Thank you so much, Alex and Steven. And yeah, guys, I'll be giving out a couple more codes throughout the rest of the stream. So be on the lookout for that and so we are now moving on to Malamar Giratina the pure psychic version with only spell attacks and Espion, Deoxys, Esper and Mimikyu along with Giratina as the main attackers so Malamar with the psychic recharge ability is what makes this deck viable and what makes it work you may attach a psychic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon which is really really powerful because we have um, Mimikyu to use copycat and copy an opponent's uh, last attack used, which can be um, from tag teams, which is really powerful coming from a non-GX. We also have Giratina, which with its ability Distortion Door, it comes back all the time from the discard pile, which is huge in this new standard because there's no rescue stretcher, there's no real viable way to get back Pokemon other than Brock's Grit, which is usually just not fast enough, and Shadow Impact hits for a very nice 130 damage, and the 4 damage counters you get to place are not that important against you. Now, you do have Esper with its Ear Kinesis attack, you deal 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each damage counter on them, so between the spell attacks and just previous hits, from Giratina, Esper can be pretty devastating for your opponent. We also have Mew with its bench warrior ability to help against Pigram. And also Psy Power can be used to accommodate um, or to prepare some very nice numbers for Ear Kinesis or to combine with Spell Tag. And Purple Cliff, thank you so much for subscribing. Jack, how are you doing? Welcome back to the stream. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Um, and finally we have the one of GX in this deck, Espion Deoxys GX, the Psychic Club attack <laughs> makes a lot of sense for the Psychic Malamar deck, right? Which deals 30 more damage for each of your bench Psychic Pokemon, so up to 160 if you have 5 bench Psychic Pokemon. Usually there will be a Jirachi over there, so it will be on average 130, but the real reason this guy is in here is the Cross Division GX. You get to place 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like, but if you have at least 3 extra energy attached to it, then you get to put 20 damage counters on them, which is a really, really big number. And then we have the Triple Jirachi for Stellar Wish. Now we have 4 Cynthia, 4 Lily, and the one of Erigas. We have 4 Acrobikes, 4 Mysterious Treasure, 4... Um, give me one second, Nicholas. 4 Pokemon Communication, along with 4 Spell Tax, so 4 of the most important cards. Double switch, I mean triple switch, double skateboard to make sure that Jirachi doesn't stay active for long and can easily steal a wish for extra cards to return. Eight basic energies, three radiance to search for them and discard them, and then two reset stamp, which for me are very crucial. And now, yeah, feel free to send me the challenge. Maybe <laughs> Chev indeed. It was very close. And yeah, let's play one more game. Yeah, and then if, if there are other people interested in playing post-rotation matches, yeah, instead of me going to a ladder, I'll be happy to take challenges. So I'm sending you a challenge, Nicolas. Hope you're still here to accept it. And you just got 14 letters from TCG player stores today. <laughs> nice purple cliff. Um, okay, so... If, if I get an affiliate link, I'll definitely be expecting you to use my TCG player affiliate link. <laughs> yeah, so that all those letters you get, I'll be very happy that you get them as well. Even more happy than I am right now. <laughs> this, looks, this list looks really consistent. I mean, I feel like all Malamar, all, Malamar, all Malamar lists look consistent, but then 
you end up getting a bit convoluted starts. Yeah, sometimes. And isn't Mimikyu out of format? It got reprinted as a promo indeed. What deck am I gonna play at Worlds, Manuel? I have no clue. I get to play in day two. There's still um, there's still day one to be played. I need to see what happens there and then I'll make a decision. So, and I never ever know what deck I'm gonna play until the day before the event. Yeah, usually, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Um, What's my in-game name? You can go exclamation mark IGN and my in-game name is demo underscore tablemon. How does this Mali version stand up to Pigram versus with Marsh Champ? Pigram is definitely a very tough matchup for this version in particular because it's lacking. Like you just hope that the Giratina Swarm is good enough. But um, this version is in particular especially always has this feeling of uh, lacking something yeah lacking something okay not a bad start for nicholas at all loses the custom catcher this looks like the fire m&m's list that i've been playing or very close to it and nicholas is off to a very fiery start with the fire m&m's deck okay so my hand is not particularly promising i definitely am gonna lose the esper next turn right and then i definitely feel like the switch is a card to get rid of here to establish my very first ink and i can play you steven as well yeah i can definitely play against you i'm probably gonna play two more people after this yeah uh okay so i'm gonna hmm. well this sucks i'm gonna giant hearth away this and then I'll Radiant Forest away this for this. But yeah, this is really not looking great at all. And then I'm gonna capture day for one extra card. Not looking great at all. Very and this is yeah, it's like the list looks consistent, but then this happens and you're like, oh my gosh, I hate Malamar. <laughs> Okay, Aaron. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Um, I'll probably just make it so that um, uh, whoever sends me a challenge first, I'll play against that person. Yeah. How does that work? Do you just take a bunch of cards with you when you travel to events? I do. I, I try to travel with everything that I believe is competitively viable at the time. That way, I never struggle last minute. Marks, thanks so much for the follow. I never struggle last minute to like find um, any new cards or anything in particular. Oof, if if he had Nagnadel in, in the back, we would have been in a lot of trouble right here. Well, terrible timing for this guy. Can, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to even use the Espion Deoxys. Terrible timing, though. It's just going to be all about Giratina. I'm hoping he doesn't have enough healing at this point. Um, and I, like, I basically, I need something to survive. I can't even afford to evolve, because then I just lose the Malamar. And I didn't get any energy. Yikes. So I'll sacrifice the one that I just benched. I mean, now I have a, a chance to attack, right, next turn, but uh, definitely not looking great. And if Nicholas gets the Nagnadel in the discard pile, I am done for. Classic Mali hands. I do not play custom catchers in this. Um... <laughs> Real games, I don't think it works that way. Joe Bro, thank you so much for resubscribing. 20 months, that's a really high number. That's a really high number. Thank you so much for subscribing. Very kind of you. I do play bikes. I play four of them, I believe. I do, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do play four bikes. You're always scared of not having cards you need. Yeah, exactly. So, that, that way, like, look, I actually... Yeah. Oh, this is green, so you might not be able to see it. Oh, no, you can. So this is the 
the box that I take yeah, to every event and then there's Pokemon, supporters, trainers and well items, tools, uh, stadiums etc and uh, energies in order to, um, to that I take with me to events and the other day oof, just the other day is when I, I did the filter of these cards uh, are no longer standard legal these are and look this is all that I took out from that box this is all uh, you can see the marshal there this is all the previous standard legal cards that I am kind of happy kind of not happy to not be using anymore okay I don't see how I can win this game Nicholas did find an Agnadel did get to Venom Shock my Malamar so I'm gonna Lily for five there's the Acrobikes. <laughs> okay, so now I guess I'm hoping for a Hypnosis. I'm, I am I am 100% hoping for a Hypnosis to stick. If it doesn't, I am in trouble. If the Hypnosis does not stick, then I... Oh my gosh, and I just... Uh, <laughs> Come on, Pablo. You say Hypnosis and then you attach to the Inke. I mean, you attach to the Giratina. Oops. Um, I know an Inke is prized, so I will only have access to one Malamar now, which is bad. Are they all sleeved? No, they are not all sleeved. They are not all sleeved. Um, our miners, if you add me, I'll be happy to. Ooh, I think that's a small mistake there. I think that's a small mistake. I don't think you should be so afraid of the spell tags, Nicholas. Eliminating an Inke was definitely much better than eliminating the Giratina here. That actually opens up the possibility for me to start attacking here. If I find a switch, right? If, big if. Okay, before I evolve, well, it's not going to change anything. Well, I might want to hypnosis this time, for sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need to attach and then I'll Ericas. Ericas is so good now. I do find a switch. Awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I will finally be able to attack here. And another important thing is that there's no Greninja here. So Nicholas actually does not have a good way to KO this Giratina as long as I don't put the damage on it. So I'm gonna pinch this guy. I'm gonna do this and then. Look, I'm pretty certain there's no Inke here. Yeah, there's no Inke. So I'll bench the other Giratina. Well, no, I'll just... I'll grab the Giratina. I won't bench it, though. And I'll Shadow Impact, putting the 40 on the Jirachi. And yes, if, if you were gonna do the attack, it was better to either KO the Malmar, but I think it was much better to use Solgaleo's Turbo Strike to KO the active and power up the bench mute. I think that was the the best play possible. Have seen some Mali Chump playing Dragon Talon. That's terrible card. I'm I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's good enough. I mean yeah, I guess like, oh, uh, Psychic Club. Okay, I mean, that is a way to get a knockout, right? Psychic Club, just enough. Oof, the GX attack now. The GX attack. Okay, I'm definitely gonna reset stamp. Can the GX attack win him the game? Three damage counters. Oh my gosh, the GX attack wins him the game, doesn't it? Not if I place the damage on Giratina. Not if I place the damage on Giratina, so that's pretty important. Okay, so I'm gonna Distortion Tour. These two guys. Can I keep doing that and I'll attach here. I'll do this. I should not pinch this guy and come on, Paolo. Remember, you do not place the damage on the Malamar. 
Yeah, I mean, I generally, I don't think Dragon Talon is good enough because you don't want to lead any match by risking the the Garchom Giratina. You want to use it specifically when it's going to be cost effective and take the knockout. So I just, I don't think it's a, a good strategy to to do that. Okay, so I have eight cards left. I have one escape board and one switch. So unless both the escape board and the switch are in the bottom five cards of my deck, in the bottom three cards of my deck, oh, <laughs> they are. <laughs> I have eight cards left. Oh no. <laughs> Ribberoni. <laughs> Ribberoni. <laughs> Ribberoni. Yeah, so that that's what I mean. I don't think that's a good strategy. Because you have such a good attacker in Giratina. Yeah, the Stellar Wish. I couldn't find either Switch or the Escape Word. And I had five, I had three, oh my gosh. I need one of them not to be in the bottom three. I just didn't need both of them to be there. Yeah, so that's gonna be game. Like, if I could swing into this Mewtwo, and then have, have him, like, not do much or anything, and just swing it back into me, maybe even, well, he would get a KO, but then I would finally get a KO, and he would only have one energy in play. So maybe then I'd be able to to do it. So yeah, nine uh, deadly B if that percentage is correct. Nine out of ten times I would have been able to attack there. Didn't quite get to do it this time around. And yeah, th this is why I don't like this deck. Um, I mean, Malmar in general can this can happen to any version of Malmar, right? But if you don't have a big GX attacker that can just one hit kill another big GX, which is um, Malmar Giratina. I mean, Garchomp Giratina or Marshall Machamp in the case of, um, in the case of against Pigrom, then you are you never make a comeback. You never make a comeback in games because you never have the big damage outputs. Yeah, this is a perfect showcase of that situation in particular. That is a perfect showcase. But then you want to lead with the Giratina so that you don't risk the attack team. Yeah, so the, the Dragon Talent doesn't make much sense to me. Custom Catcher. <laughs> I'm gonna attack Purge me. Yep. GG, Nicholas. Your deck played out pretty nicely. Yeah. Is that similar to what I posted? Or what I used at one of my articles or something? Pretty cool deck, that one. Okay, so I'm gonna accept people, yeah, but whoever sends me a challenge first, that's who I will play against, okay? Looking for two more games. Looking for two more games. GG, Nicolas, that was good, that was good. I guess I'll see you at Worlds. <laughs> I'll see you at Worlds. Okay, so Mr. Shiny Odino sent me the challenge first. And challenges me with Reshizard. I assume this is Green's Reshizard based on the fact that there was no other type other than Fire. We are going second. We are going second. This hand much, much better than the other one. It's on... <laughs> Okay, so we'll start the Jirachi, no need to bench the Giratina. I am full. Oh, I am full in my in my friend's account? Okay, sorry. Just I don't know who to delete or who not to delete anymore. Well, I'll, I'll make some space, yeah? I will make some space. Someone was trying to get into my Twitter. Huh. Weird. Uh, yeah, someone's trying to get into my Twitter. Someone is trying to get into my Twitter. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. 
So pretty decent turn for Mr. Shiny Audino. Let me just check what he drew greens, played greens, drew giant cards, and well there. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the acro. Uh, I mean, I definitely want the energy in the discard pile, right? The switch might be important though. Ah, but the Viridian is more important, I feel. Okay, so I'm gonna play Viridian, and I'm gonna Viridian away the Giratina for a Psychic. And then I will Mysterious Treasure away the Psychic. <clears throat> for an Inke, once again, one Inke is prized, the BBQ isn't, which is good news. And then I'll play that, I'll play that, and then I'll Lily Freight. Pretty good number. No energy. No energy after the fact, and Plunk Power, thanks so much for the follow. I'll go ahead and Stellar Wish for Spell Tag. Because this is what I'm gonna do, you know? Alex is threatening with, sorry, Mr. Shiny Odino is threatening with a welder next turn, right? Could be a welder onto the Volcanian even. So I'm not gonna let him even do that. I'll start placing damage counters and then I'll do this. And this is me accepting the fact that I won't get an attack off on turn two, but that's okay because unless he commits the Rich's Art, he won't get a KO on turn two. Yeah, it's very unlikely I will get an attack off again afterwards. Well, it's, I guess it's not super unlikely. Well, we need double Malamar and an Arsai in the discard, so it's probably very unlikely. Can't believe I didn't draw more Pokemon though of that Lily, and I drew two more supporters. Mimikyu against Reshi is indeed very nice, especially after the spell tags. You're running one fighting, one on Tina Chum for New King, a guy with pants. That makes a lot of sense. I agree with that. I agree with that. Monka S. <laughs> I have no idea where that Monka S thing came from, but it means uh, you're being sarcastic, right? I think. I'm not sure. I am actually not sure. Oh, it's when something scary happens. Okay, um, never shades. Where do I buy codes? Potonstore.com. Yeah, and if you want to buy codes and you buy from them, you can type Tablemon at checkout when it asks you for a promotional code. You can type in Tablemon, and you will be able to get a five percent discount off your final purchase. Okay, that switch top deck was very nice. Not gonna lie. That increases my chances of attacking this turn by a lot, but not getting any Malamar decreases my chances. <laughs> decreases my chances of attacking this turn by a lot. Okay, so let's acro. Spell attack more valuable than the Lily. We're not gonna be able to attack this turn once again. Not even a single Malamar. We're gonna be able to set up. Yikes. Not even a single Malabar. Okay. Um, so many supporters, right? I play nine and I keep drawing them. So yeah, potonstore.com guys. All the codes that I've put in chats are sponsored by them. You can get um, you can get 5% off if you buy codes there. It's immediate email delivery, so you don't have to worry about, um, about when the code cards will arrive. They are immediately delivered to your email, so you can copy-paste and play with them immediately. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get custom captured our Jirachi for sure. Yeah. Oh, how how is this turn? How is this turn? Turn six, 
And only now we are starting to attack. Okay, Esper, not very useful. I do have one Malamar Prize, but it doesn't justify the fact that I've been whiffing so much. And because of the low Malamar count, yeah, I can already see the problems of, like future problems are going to be the fact that we're not going to have a way to retreat, our Jirachi got taken down, we only have one escape port left, this is the second switch, the third switch, third and final switch that we're using, so things are just not working out for us with this deck today. And this is Malamar, right? Like it looks, on paper, it looks super consistent, and then you play it and you're like, what the heck am I even playing? Okay, so I did draw the energy. I don't foresee Esper being useful, honestly. I feel like this guy dealing 160 might be stronger at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Inke. But I probably won't even be able to attack next turn. That's a reality. I very likely will not be able to attack next turn. I very likely will not be able to attack next turn. Acro, unless I get lucky and find my one escape board left. And I still need a Mali and an energy. So yeah, things aren't looking very good. Things are not looking very good right now. Mali hands indeed. <laughs> That is going to be a thing the whole season. Molly hands, Molly hands, Molly hands. Molly hands. Okay. Energy attachment to the active. We'll get the KO with the Volk. We'll probably get two KOs with the Volk. When Esper have been good for taking down Reshizard at some point. The thing is, Reshizard is never gonna be on the bench. It's never gonna have high damage on the bench. There probably won't be even a second Reshizard. And if there is, it won't have a lot of damage. Because I assume, I'm sure, he um, he's gonna have healing as well. So I don't think... Like, Esper would be useful if he's on the back foot. If he's trying to weather down the pressure. Yeah? Which is not the case, right? Which is very clearly not the case in this game. What matchup is Esper even good for? I mean, it's not about being good for a matchup. It's just that you don't have custom catchers. You can't fit custom catchers into this deck. And therefore, you want um, the option of Esper so that, um, so that you can... Um, okay. So that you can... Um, like after you knocked, after you attack with Giratina, then you can like finish them off on the bench. Or, or, okay, I have no switch, so I have to attach here. If I find, I need a skateboard. No matter what, I need a skateboard. I need a skateboard right here, right now. <laughs> that is certainly not a skateboard. Okay, the research stamp is nice to try and. Settle down the hand a little bit. And then I'll bench this guy. And then I'll psychic recharge to the Mew. So yeah, it's like it's not that this is for a matchup, it's that certain situations come up where you need to target something down on the bench. But every game is different, yeah. So it's hard for me to tell you, oh Esper, you need it when this and this and this happens, because every game is different. You know? But it's, Esper has the potential to be useful in every matchup. Yeah. Anytime you would want a custom catcher, Esper is that answer. Yeah. It's Esper is the 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 middle ground between running four custom catchers, which requires four uh, four spots in the deck, versus not running any custom catchers. So the middle ground is running the one of Esper, which can sometimes be as good as custom catchers. Yeah. That would be the the reason for it. Okay, so we're gonna see a greens. Yeah, I guess the reset stamp and him having the heat factory steel was not that big of a deal. Um, 
I feel like at this point, I wouldn't custom catcher. Because caving a Ninke is just as valuable as caving a Malamar. It's like, sure, you get rid of a Malamar. But it's not going to be that impactful, and I'm, and I'm going to have two turns to replace it, rather than just the one. So... So yeah, losing this turn definitely, definitely sucks, big time. Okay. I see you, Alex, I see you. Um, I mean, I generally, I might need energies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is my seventh energy. And to add, to add on to my miseries, I have a Ninke prized. So maybe I should be running the Ditto. Brian, thank you so much for the follow. I should probably be running the Ditto. I think I just go ahead and attach here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. <laughs> PTC Joe it generally just absolutely hates me. Like, I don't see, I, I don't know any other explanation other than PTC Joe absolutely and utterly hates my guts. <laughs> There's no other explanation. Next card. Next card. <laughs> Next card. What are the chances? Couldn't put it in the top six. Had to be in the top seventh card, right? Had to be in that top seventh card. Oh boy. Okay, so Shadow Impact. I'll put the damage on my Mew. Someone at PCGO headquarters is trolling, right? I need my Inke, not a Mysterious Treasure. I don't need to search for a Pokemon. I need Pokemon. 70 damage is a lot though. But how many damage counters do you need on the Reshizard to KO with Esper? You need nine. You need nine, which is not out of the question actually. So maybe, maybe, Maybe Amphi was right and Esper would have been good to take down the Reshizard, except it becomes active immediately, so never mind. You can't attack after two more Tinas. What do you mean, I can't attack after two more Tinas? You play Maripo with a sleeping stadium and your opponent flips heads all the time. It certainly feels that way, right? Certainly feels bad that way. Okay, so a Church Ball for the other Reshizard. That's the way to do it because now with no Esper, I can't finish off that uh, Volcano on the bench. <clears throat> well, actually, I can. I can. If I manage to KO one Reshizard before Alex just outright wins the game, okay, so. We'll see. <clears throat> this this next turn reset stamp has to be the game winning reset stamp. It has to be. There's no way around it. Create potion and welder. That's fine. Because of the healing. Oh no. Oh my god. Why do I prize on again and then draw so bad? I'm not winning this game. Well, no, I'm not winning this game. I am not winning this game, I don't think. I mean, the Malamar going down is not that big a deal. The issue is the fact that he avoided this spell attack. That is the issue. Okay, so I totally need to do this. And then, okay, so the Mysterious Treasure ends up being a decent price. So I don't want to go overboard on my deck. There's nothing really else I need other than, like, time. Wait, which attack? Oh my gosh, I can't... Which attack did he use? Took a prize card. Used... Out oh, he did Outrage. Oh, he used Outrage. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use this guy. I'm gonna have to use this guy. And thanks so much for the follow. Reggie rocks the mall. And then I need to power up the... The dude. Yeah, he used Outrage, okay. I need 
need to power up the dude. My last energy has to go there. And then I will Shadow Impact. And I have to finish the game off with this guy. By KOing this guy. Right. Okay, there's no more custom catchers, so that the damage on the Malabar should never affect anything. Um uh, well, does that change anything though? It doesn't, I don't think. Okay, so the four damage counters have to go to the Volk. Wait, do I even have another Pokemon? Oh my gosh. No, oh, yeah, 130. 130 is enough to KO. Oh, I thought I was about to mess up. Oops, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not messing up. I'm actually, in fact, not messing up. Okay, so promote the Mew. And then Psychic Recharge. Huh. This is gonna be... This is gonna be pretty scary. Distortion Door. And then a skateboard? Okay, and this is why you need a big guy. Psychic Club for the knockout. And then we have the GX. Oh my gosh, Alex says well played. Once again, I don't know if that means we've lost or we've won. <laughs> I generally do not know. I generally do not know. If we've won or if we've lost, <laughs> when people say well played. I'm hoping we won, like a 10 damage, one energy, Reshizard, Flare Strike doesn't get the knockout, only one energy, double place is 200, sad face for Alex, benching that Volcanion, ends up being his demise. Like, okay, so let's pretend the Volcanion was not there. I finally got the Inke, yeah, not, not that it matters. So then I would swing for 160, or I could control how much I swing for. 130 means I get 170 back. So you would need another welder, basically. Okay, so I'm going to pretend, I'm going to pretend the Volk isn't on the bench. Okay, we're gonna pretend the Volcanion is not on the bench. 160, we get 119 return, still less. I mean, then it comes down to does he have another welder and two fires, right? So we Psychic Club. That also puts it in range of my Jigs attack in case he decides to retreat. But if he does that, then he would be benching the Volcanion. Acrobike. Uh, Nicholas, I've already played against you twice. There are other people that want to play against me. Um, so I'm gonna give someone else a chance this time, okay? You see the Acrobike. SP Oxys with the comeback, yeah. I generally thought when I whiffed that, uh, escape board, I was out. Great Potion, that's why I hit for 160 this turn. That's... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no okay I guess we tie then I guess we tie I guess we would have tied if there's no way for you well he could heal actually <laughs> <laughs> We would go to sudden death then. I mean, technically I won, right? Technically I won. Oh, oh no. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I get two win conditions, but no, I don't get enough to KO this Volk. With an extra spell tag, I would have. Okay, so we go into sudden death. <laughs> we go into sudden death. I get to go first. Pretend the tool is not attached. <laughs> I mean, I do think benching that Volk could have been a mistake. I do think benching that wall could have been a mistake. So there's merit to doing this. Yeah, there's definitely merit to doing this. Wait, one prize? That's wrong. You should be placing six PTCGO. Sealy PTCGO. You should be placing six. It's whoever draws the first card, not playing to one prize. Sealy PTCGO. Uh-oh. 
Well, that's pretty scary to be staring down in a... Um, uh oh. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to power up this guy. Uh oh. Oh, yes, if I can find a recess stamp, <laughs> that'll be super mean. They that will be super, super mean. Can I find recess stamp? Not yet. I have another chance. Not quite. Okay. So no reason. No no mean. No extra mean reset stamp for us. Now what a difference, right? From the previous game. What a difference. Uh yeah, I'll grab a Malamar. I already have two Psychics in the discard, so I can start attacking with this guy next turn. Are we about to be KO'd? Never shades, that's cool. That's cool. And yes, Alex, this is not correct. This, yeah, this is not correct. Yeah, no stamp. <laughs> if I would have gotten it, I also wouldn't have played it. That would literally be the evil stamp. The stamp of evil. <laughs> and thank you, Never Shades. All the support is appreciated. Yeah. Good luck <clears throat> with the packs you buy or the trades you make. Yeah, it should be six prizes out. It should be. I wasn't gonna play the recent stamp if I found it. I genuinely wasn't <laughs> going to be that that evil. Well, actually, this sucks because my damage output is 130. This actually really sucks. Because my damage output is 130, so I'm not even two-shotting this guy. I am not even two-shotting this guy. Uh... So do I have to play to the... I feel like I have to play to the GX, right? Yeah, I have to play to the GX attack here, so that's why I'm manually retreating. Oh, but I... Oh no, I do, I do, I do. I can't hit for 130. Well, I mean, the fact that he hasn't done much probably means that he had... Oh, that Jirachi, though. I never expected that to matter. Oopsies. Um, hi, Chris, yum yum. <laughs> Thanks so much for the follow. Uh, wait, what? SPN GX attack would have done damage to it? What? I mean, I'm trying to play to... to using Cross Division GX Plus. Right, so... Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Double custom catcher. GG. Yeah, I had no way to deal with this guy, though. If that was Garchomp Giratina, I would have won by just GG ending. Thank you so much for the follow, Burail. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, Jeff. We were pretending that that wasn't there. Yeah, we were pretending. Okay, <laughs> GG Alex. Okay, so next person to send me a challenge will play the last game. Thank you as well, Nicholas. We'll play the last game of the day. So who will send me the challenge? I've accepted everyone. So there's no excuse that I don't have you at all, oh, actually. There is, because I have extra people, right? So, sorry about that. Actually, I needed to delete people. Sorry about that. Oh, there is you. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I, I get confused. There's so much going on at the same time. <laughs> There's so much going on at the same time. It gets confusing sometimes. Okay. So Filch being the superior Caterday. <laughs> that last game was super, super weird. But GG's to Alex. Okay, another Reshizard. And 
another Reshi's art, so we already know it's a very complicated match. Uh, yeah, let's bench the Jirachi, why not? Our hand definitely merits that Jirachi. Like, if I hadn't drawn the Jirachi, I was gonna communication for it, for sure. And no worries, Alex. I also wanted to see what um, what would have happened. You know, it's always good to pretend for best case scenarios or worst case scenarios. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was putting a code in the chat. Okay, so attach here. Mysterious treasure this. I shouldn't be leading with the energy attachment. Yeah, that's that's definitely not the correct way to to play. Okay, I'll retreat. And then I'll still wish. Uh <laughs> well, that is not very nice. That is not very nice, especially when we are about to lose our Jirachi right here. We are about to lose our Jirachi. So I'm going to need another Jirachi, but then I'm only benching one Inke, which really sucks. So I should have grabbed the Mysterious Treasure, so that's another mistake. And then I'll pass. I could have reset stamped the green cards to prevent, to try and prevent this, but that's, that's the key word, try, right? Uh, Nicholas, am I staying at the top 22 hotel at Worlds? I am not. I am not. Because I live in Mexico, um, it's so cheap for me to travel to the United States that I always ask for the reimbursement. And the, ho the Worlds Hotel was very expensive, so I am actually going to be staying at the Embassy Suites, which is very near. Yeah, it's very nearby. It's very nearby. Molly hands in these... Mali hands indeed, sorry, not indeed, indeed. Okay, so we got GX because of the fear of Mimikyu. I am completely okay by that. Well, not completely okay, but it's not terrible. Okay, good Acrobike. Could Acrobike that one. Uh, decent Acrobike this one. Now I need a really good Stellar Wish though. There we go. That's a good Stellar Wish. Okay, so we will go ahead and distortion door. No damage counters placed, that's that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, CPT Lexer. I promise I don't do it on purpose. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to attack this turn, so I'm just gonna switch into the Giratina, right? That makes sense. I just I need another NK this turn. Okay, that is as close to another NK as it's gonna get. Not technically the ink, but it is what it is. And then, do I even attach? I don't think so. Do I even evolve? I do think so. Um, okay, so now I definitely Psychic Recharge the Mimikyu. Because the only way this gets KO'd is by Flare Strike. And then that guy is getting a lot of damage in return. Uh, do I go ahead and attach now, though? Yeah, I have enough energy in the Discard Ball to where that's fine. That's fine, though. <laughs> CBD Lexer. No reset stamp. It's just from 9 to 5. It's not about just taking away cards from the hand, you know? It's about when it is going to matter. And, like, sure, I bring him down from 9 to 5 cards, right? All he needs is an energy to keep doing what he's going to do. Yeah? Or, sure, he's gonna go ahead and custom catcher, right? That's not the biggest of deals because. That's a green scone, that's a custom catcher gone. So when I do reset stamp him, those are cards that he can't draw. Yeah, so it's not just about making the hand less. It's about making the hand less good to what you are trying to accomplish, you know, or, for, or to prevent your opponent from responding to what you are trying to accomplish. And from 9 to 5, it's like, I don't think my opponent would have done anything differently if that happened. Yeah, so just because you can play the reset stamp doesn't mean you should. Like I'm not, I'm not even gonna play it now. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine cards, but I still, it's much better the the more 
the more you hold on to it. Okay. So, <laughs> the faded acrobike. Well, I keep getting the resets now. Maybe I should just I should have just played it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna acrobike. Yes. Awesome. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so see, now that I'm guaranteed the attack, yeah, now I feel more comfortable perhaps considering using the reset sand. Because then that means he's less likely to be able to find healing or agrees to be able to play around this. Yeah, but if I'm not gonna pressure him, then there's not that much point, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe you should be playing reset stamp whenever you have a chance. But I feel like nine to five when all he when he's fully set up already, I don't think that's impactful enough. Yeah. How many reset stamp do I play? Two. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna place the damage on the Jirachi because that way, if he heals. Any amount, he has to flare strike. The good thing is that the Mimikyu was such a big threat that he chose to go after that instead of the Malamar. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Orange Rabbits put it pretty well as well in chat. Like, there's way more to reset stamp than just bringing down your opponent from nine to five cards. Yeah. Or you have to like. I mean, that's a way to use it. Wait, what? No Outrage? Okay, so if he Outrages, he loses if he doesn't have another basic Pokemon. So, okay, the reset time to 4 was impactful. Um, I don't want to get rid of any of these cards before I Lily. I do, however, want to do this. I can't win with Espion, my maximum damage output is um, 130 with it, so that's why I didn't go for it. Don't think I misplayed, and then Alacro, definitely Lily, Erika's is so bad when your opponent has literally one Pokemon. I'm not going to attach the energy, that's my last attachable energy for now. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, the other one is prized, so I'll just go ahead and Psychic Recharge. Not even going to bother attaching this as well, because... I don't know, at some point, my previous opponent was very adamant in going after the Jirachi initially to stop me from having the Stellar Wish, so then that would just be a wasted stamp. I mean, a skateboard, and then I'll Shadow Impact. Shadow Impact the Rooney, in case he manages to heal everything. I mean, I don't think it matters at that point. This might even be game based on the previous turn. Because, yeah, if he knocked me out, he activated his spell tag, and then our Giratina finished him off. So we need to find some healing. But, uh, but yeah, that was that was a, a let's not lose this turn move rather than a potentially win. So heals 90. And... Will that be it? If so, I'm sorry, King Peep. That, that stamp did a number on him. Yeah, but I stamped him after he had used two welders and two greens. Yeah. Okay, so we might just see another pass here. Oh, what? What? All of that off of one acrobike? <laughs> that, that was like the best acrobike in the history of acrobikes. That was insane. <laughs> That was the, literally the best acrobike in the history of acrobikes. Okay. So I would really like to find another Inke, though. I, I promise you guys I love it. Oh, why didn't I attach the spell tag? Oh my gosh. <laughs> best acro in the world. Yeah, generally that was a literally the best acrobike in the world. Okay, so that was a silly mistake. I am still wishing for the spell tag that I put back just now. <laughs> So very silly Pablo. That was that was like a that was a Tesla sort of like acro bike or something. That was really good. That was really good. Okay. 
<laughs> this spell tag is so silly though. I literally... Uh, I don't... Well, then you could be out good one price. I mean, one retreat costs... One retreat costs retreater. Um, but yeah, still wishing for the spell tag when I had the spell tag already. That was really dumb. Okay, so greens... There's no way he heals that much again, right? Two great potions is a hundred damage. But it could be two mixed herbs plus one great potion. That would be 140. No, but then the, the spell attack does it. That was a Harley Davidson. I don't know what kind of acrobat that was, but that was insane. That was insane. Okay. Is that gonna be game? Cherish and make search. No, it's not gonna be game. <clears throat> it is not going to be game. Makes herbs. I'm surprised by that one. I am very surprised by that one though. I feel like that should have been saved for... Yeah, that should have been saved for this guy, I'm pretty sure. So I have knockout on this guy. I have knockout on that guy. Yeah, I don't think I would have healed the active. Okay, how many spell attacks are we down? Only two. Oh, well, Lily for two, and then out of eight cards, I mean, there's probably a few price, right? Well, there might be one price, I don't know. I should know, but I don't know. I should know, but I really don't. <laughs> uh, I think it is worth it to put the one damage counter already. Every damage counter matters. It makes a great potion perfect, but nothing I can do about that. Go ahead and Psychic Recharge. Um, but he didn't have... He would have still lived, right? Oh no, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have. That's right, that's right. That's right, I wasn't factoring in the spell tag. That's my bad. That is my bad. You are correct, RMA and Orange Rabbits. Yeah, I, I completely spaced out that I was going to KO him with the... With the spell tag. That's... Silly Pablo forgetting about his own spell tag. Okay. My opponent's win condition might actually be to deck me out at this point. I am down to switches. And... I only want a skateboard, so I guess that changes. Okay, so does get the KO. So now it's Espion Deoxys plus Reset Stamp time, right? Because he does have two custom catchers once again. So it's Espion Deoxys into reset stamp. Is Espion Deoxys in there? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. It is. Awesome. <laughs> I promise you guys when I play in real life I pay a lot more attention to those small things. Yeah, but be here between speaking my thoughts, playing the game, trying to be funny. <laughs> yeah, I... A lot of things just go by. I notice when... Uh, Compared to when I'm sitting down in a tournament and the only thing that matters is my deck and trying to beat my opponent. Okay, so reset stamp of death. I probably should have stellar wished anyways. I'll attach here and then goodbye Malamar. Do I have a switch in here? I do. I actually do. 
So if I really need it, I'll dig for it next turn. Right? If I really, really need it, I'll dig for it next turn. Yeah, because the switch means I can deal 200 damage rather than just 130. Depending on if my opponent manages to heal. <laughs> Legend has it, if you bring your doggo on stream, you'll never misplay. <laughs> Deoxys on Despian and Deoxys looks like he's dabbing. That's true. That's true. That is very true. No GX available, so no welder into double blaze. No matter where that Reshizard runs. No matter where that Reshizard runs, and that's what it ends up doing. I actually... Okay, so... I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna play this. And I hope you don't mind me doing this. I hope you don't mind me doing this. Then I'll switch. I've never done the plus of this guy before. And yeah, the big HP. The big HP is where it's at. Can you still wish with a zero card deck? Cross division, one, two, three, yeah, four, five, and then boop, 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 boop. TG. That was that was very close though. That was very close. That was very close. GG King Peep. I don't know who you are in chat though. But GG, thanks for the game. Those games were very close. Yeah. The previous one and this one, they were very close. Yeah, but I feel like if I had a bigger attack earlier. I definitely would have been able to perhaps finish the game earlier. So that's where Garchomp Giratina um, shines above this this version. Yeah, this version, it's harder to take down. It's more grindy to take down, but it's also much grindier for you to take down stuff. Yeah, I know I didn't need that many counters, but I had to play them all. <laughs> I had to keep clicking. Yeah, they fixed the interface indeed. It's much faster now, which is good. I know I didn't need that many damage counters. I put 5 to enough to KO, then 12, and then I had 3 left over, so I just clicked. Yeah. And Seuxine Admins, thank you so much for the follow. Pokemaster, I'm so sorry, I do have to get going because it's pretty late. Um, here I need to walk my dog, I need to go to dinner with my family. I have a family reunion right now, so I'm sorry I won't be able to get to play you. Yeah, um, but I mean, guys, there are, there are people in chat that want to play. Yeah, play against each other, message each other, play against each other. I'm sure you guys can find some good quality games. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, which theme deck is best, Sixty? I generally have no idea about theme decks. Maybe someone in chat knows, but I have no idea about theme decks. Last I heard, the Charizard one was really good, but I generally have no idea about theme decks. Yeah. But yeah, guys, that will be all for me. Yeah, thank you so much to everyone who hung out today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I wish I could play against more of you guys. Um, if I have the energy tomorrow, I'll try to stream tomorrow, but I'm, I, I don't wanna make any promises because I always end up super tired after, <laughs> after soccer. But if I have energy, I'll try to stream and I'll try to play against more of you guys. Um, CPD Delexer, that deck actually sounds pretty interesting and that's also something that I would love to try out once Expanded is relevant. And yeah, I'll see you at Worlds, Nicholas. See you guys. Thank you so much. If you're watching YouTube, don't forget to do a like. I'll catch you guys later.